it is vital that children are indoctrinated into Christianity before they start their formal education. And I'm going to tell you why. And this is all based on Genesis. You see, if you were to allow a child to go to school up until, let's say, the eighth grade, without teaching them anything about the Bible and especially Genesis, that child would most likely never get past the first chapter of Genesis. Matter of fact, they wouldn't get past the first four or five verses of Genesis. Let me explain to you why. You see, oftentimes people like to argue with me about Christianity. And one of the things that you cannot argue is the fact that according to the story of Genesis, the earth was created before the sun and the moon. See, the earth was created day one, whereas the earth, sun and the moon and the stars weren't created till day four. Now, if you allow a child to go to school and get formal education before teaching them that, that child is then going to read that and say, wait, well, there's a conflict here. You see, the earth, now that they know about photosynthesis and things of that nature, the earth could not have been created before the sun and the moon because the earth could not survive and have life on it before the sun and moon are put into place. The earth would not even have been created before the sun and moon because by the time they reach the eighth grade, they also know, for those of you who are going to say that the plants and animals were created after the sun was created, but those children also know that the earth was created from the stardust and the accumulation of matter and material after our sun was created from a supernova or some other type of explosion. So therefore, it is an impossibility for the sun and the moon to be created after the earth. Now, the other aspect of it is that they always talk about, oh, but it's not a literal day. The word yom can be used to mean a period of time. That is only if you're going by the Strong's Concordian, accordant, Concordance. And we all know, well, we should know, that the Strong Concordance is the least used concordance by most biblical scholars because it has so many mistakes in it and so many different um, teachings in it, well, different definitions in it that are based on Protestant doctrine in order to facilitate the questions that people have concerning this story. So the challenge here is that if you were to allow a child to not study that Bible before they go get through their, their first years of education, you know that that child is never going to believe in Christianity and that they're going to believe that it was written by people who didn't understand the science that we know today. Now, it's easy to understand that for the people way back 2,000 years ago, hell, 1,500 years ago, 1,000 years ago, 500 years ago, they may not have known and they did not know that the sun was created before the earth was created. But now that we know this, we still have adults who understand that it is an impossibility for that creation to have happened in the way that it was created or the way that it is told in the story. And therefore, they turn on, for, they turn on their cognitive dissonance. They put their blinders on. They need confirmation bias and they start to create different ways for this to actually be true. When at the end of the day, they know scientifically that it is an impossibility for the sun and the moon to have been created after the earth was created. This is where it just goes into belief. This is just where you just have to accept it in order for you to maintain your faith instead of rationalizing and realizing that this story is written incorrectly. And if one part of your story is written incorrectly, then how much more of your story is written based on the fantastic ideas of people who did not understand the level of science to which we understand today? These are just things that you should think about before you run around trying to claim that your Bible is inerrant, before you claim that it is inspired by God, because then your God is purposely misleading man, knowing, since he's supposed to be omniscient, knowing that one day man will be able to scientifically figure out how the earth was created, when the earth was created, when the moon was created, when the sun was created. So what do you guys think about that? Subscribe to the channel and always remember, you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations.